Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Manuel Okafo and today we'll be looking at different binding methods you can use with Pupa Add-on. So let's get started. So we already have our preview rig and from the previous videos in the playlist you can get to the um, get to this particular point. So if you're not checked if you have not seen it yet you can just check that out. So in this tutorial we'll be looking at different binding method for Pupa Rig. So you can select this metal rig and go to bind. Um, so if you click on the binding method, you can see we have two binding method at this moment. So we have the automatic weight, which is the one that comes with Blender, and we have the voxel binding method. The voxel binding method um, takes longer, um, but does a much better job um, because it's um, kind of uh, the, the most the best um, feature for the by, um, the voxel method is that it handles complex geometry well. Um, so if you have multiple objects and assets connected to the character, this can easily just bind it, just like Mixamo's um, binding algorithm does. Um, why the automatic weight is quite, quite fast, faster and does um, a decent job when dealing with multiple objects. So um, you also have the ability, ability to use this combined method to create like a hybrid effect, and that's what we're looking at today. So... Um, the automatic weight is quite easy, so you can just um, having this metal rig selected and having your big your big boy collection selected, you can select automatic weight for the binding method and just hit OK. So it this works faster. It generates the rig and also bind all the assets um, in that collection. So we just gave it a, a few minutes. Okay, so it's done now. It has binded everything. And as you can see, it did a pre um, pretty decent job. Um, but problematic area comes when they are like smaller asset or when their hair geometry is like we have here. And you can see it's slip. It didn't even take care of this part. Um, you don't get um, very nice deformation. I mean, it does it pretty good. Okay, so for something like this, um, you can see some penetration, which is something you can fix with weight painting. Um, but I, we wanted to also give you guys the ability to be able to um, just get a very clean look um, right off the go. So let's undo that. So let's try the new um, the voxel method, um, vex, voxel um, algorithm. So we can hit bind character and switch the binding type to voxel. And now you have a new parameter. So this um, voxel size is kind of the detail level. So if you increase this, it's going to bind it well, but it's not going to really handle um, very smaller parts well. So think about the voxel modifier in Blender. Um, so I think a better way to show it is kind of a live example. So let's say this is Susan and let's go in and just fill up the faces so it works great. And so now we can do the voxel remesh. Um, so with it set to point one, you can see the detail level. We have lost some details with Susan. If we set this to one, we even lose more detail. If we set this to point five, we lose more detail. So that's basically the kind of uh, mindset, um, basically what uh, this this means. Um, so if you want to get more detail, especially with characters that have fingers, um, you want to go to a smaller voxel size. So point zero six we start seeing details so point zero one we practically see Susan okay um, so this is basically um, the mindset that it's gonna take longer because now it has to compute for uh, more geometry so we can do the same thing we just select this the meta rig go to bind character we set the binding type to voxel and for the voxel size, let's do 0 0.05. Okay, so it's going to bind everything and we can hit OK. So this, like I said, it takes a bit longer um, because it's computing for the geometry and kind of creating a shell that allows it to just transfer all the weights to the entire character. And so it can create a very um, decent result compared to the automatic weight. So I'm just going to pause the video and time it and come back when it's done so it has done binding the character and we can check if it d d um, does a good job to check like is the whole character moving and it's moving so that's one good sign 
Um, so let's check if detail level is actually useful for us in this case. If not, we'll have to undo it and probably go to a lower value. So if we move the fingers, we can see it did a very good job kind of, uh, that means we have enough, we got enough detail to be able to bind the fingers. Um, so now we can check out those problematic area like the hair. So if you move it, you can see we have no error there. And you can notice how clean the binding uh, or the deformation around the neck is. It just moves like one geometry, which is pretty cool. So we can move this. So I think it missed one spot, um, but um, that can be fixed by just adding more details. Um, but you can see it's deforming great. Um, you're getting little to no penetration compared to the previous um, iteration using the automatic weight. Um, so that's basically the voxel um, uh, binding method. So let's talk about the hybrid. So the hybrid is quite useful. and uh, It's something you should also um, know because it's going to really save you a lot of time later. Okay. So it's basically combining the automatic weight and the voxel um, binding method to kind of create a very fast rig. Um, so we know that this, um, if we hide this suit and we hide this mesh, so these are just pr um, problematic areas when using the automatic weight because it doesn't bind it um, in unison because it, it doesn't deform uh, like one mesh like we want if we use the automatic weight um, but the great thing about the automatic weight it's fast and so basically if we have a system whereby we can bind the simple areas with automatic weight and just use this transfer weight to then deform the rest of the asset so let me just show you how that works um, so now we have this i model we have this character so we can we'll just leave the eye model for now but basically we have just the body and so if we select this body and the eyes and go to bind until it's selected object what this is going to do it's going to create a new collection so that means you can actually just go ahead to create a new collection um yourself without even clicking on selected objects okay so once you've done that now we can select this meta rig go to bind and switch the collection from big boy to selected object so it's going to just bind those objects inside the selected object collection okay so we'll switch this to automatic weight and hit okay so this is going to be quite faster because of the, uh, the automatic weight binding method is faster and it's we don't need to worry about detail level we just know it's going to work as we intended especially for smaller areas like fingers or like little details that we want to um, bind so as you can see like i said this works great and we don't have to worry about those things that we we'll worry about when using the voxel modifier uh, using the voxel binding method so now uh if we move this we can see i'll just um, go back if we move this you can see it's not affecting the clothes so now to use the new hybrid method which is using the voxel um, binding method in the background to kind of transfer all the details so basically you want to just select this cloth asset okay and then you want to sh you can even select multiple so let's select the shoe too uh, we can select the hair okay and now you want to shift select this rig the rig which we've created and then finally you want to shift select the body which we have binded and just click on transfer weight so this is going to transfer all the weight quickly and we get the exact result which we got from the voxel modifier without waiting all this long time and it just works. So basically what it did was to um, project the details from the body which we've created and project it onto the cloth and now that's why the cloth now has exactly the same um, weight paint as the body and that's why they move like one mesh. Um, so that's basically what's happening here and this is the hybrid met method of combining multiple um, to uh, work and I think it actually fixed that back area that, that back 
place that we're, we're having problem with as you can see it just works um, so that'll be it for this tutorial I hope it was fun and informative informational um, yeah so keep watching this playlist there are a lot of more helpful tips on using Poopa add-ons so thank you so much bye for now see you next time